Hey my beautiful YouTube family, Abby here, and I want to tell you that you, my friend, are a child of God. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Abby, and I want to do this video that has been in my heart to do. Basically, this video is like what heartbreak taught me, and I want to share it with you guys. Nothing personal, just straight up that. So there's basically this Instagram page. They posted up what heartbreak taught me, and it really ministered to me, and I felt like I needed to share that because I feel like a lot of times like people at home, at church, wherever, like they don't really share this experience because it's not the best thing to share because you're going through a breakup, you're going through heartache. But I think someone out there that is dealing with a heartbreak, a dealing with breakups, I feel like not a lot of people talk about it. I'm going to read these tips that I read and kind of just share my heart on it. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. So let's roll the intro clip fade to black. Number one, tears are prayers too. So when I read that, it really marked my life because to know that when you cry, it's a prayer unto God. Like sometimes I feel like we think that prayer should be a time where we just pray and just, you know, say words to him. But in reality, sometimes you just need a good cry. Sometimes you just cry and to know that Tears are prayers too, like how many times I have felt God comfort me, having like real intimacy with God. The second one is that love is the most powerful gift because it costs you everything. I am a huge believer in that. You can give the most expensive gift, the biggest Gucci bag or whatever, but like to give your love, to give yourself up to someone else, that's rough. I think a lot of people don't share how hard it is to give up yourself you know like everybody talks about like oh relationship with god or relationship with friends when you truly let your guard down open up your heart to a loved one that is next level intimacy so yeah the third one is relationships need more than love to survive so i completely agree with that i definitely 100 percent believe that relationships need more than love to survive love is not just a feeling love is a decision like when you make the decision to love someone to care for someone it's a strong decision to wake up every morning and say hey i choose you like i choose you as a friend i choose you as a partner i choose you as a person it takes more than love to build a relationship it takes time it takes energy it takes effort it takes all that stuff to build a relationship so i definitely 110 percent believe that number four is it's okay to yell scream and cry but make sure you heal because you either get better or bitter and i completely agree with that you either get better or you get bitter take each moment cry if you need to do whatever you need to do in the presence of god let it go and it's going to be so beautiful if you truly heal from within that you don't just surface level it and be like okay i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine like i think that's something that a lot of people try to do is that they try to heal surface date someone else like super quick but that's not gonna heal your heart honestly forgive the person like i think that that's such a huge thing even if they're in the wrong even if you're in the wrong forgive that person and forgive yourself and i think maybe you're you're too hard on yourself number five everything doesn't always work out but life still goes on not everything was meant to work out and look if god closes the door there's a purpose for that. It says in the Bible, Romans 8, 28, like God, like everything works for the good of God. Facts, <laughs> big facts. Even if you get hurt or things happen to you, like at the end of the day, you still need to show up at work. You still need to show up for yourself. You still need to show up in your physical, spiritual, emotional life and show up for yourself every day and make that decision to show up for yourself and to make yourself a better person. That is something that is so beautiful. Number six, intentionally, not time will heal you. There's a saying that says time heals all wounds. And I do not believe that's true because you can probably be two months out of a relationship or 10 months out of relationships or a year or two and still feel emotions. I promise you, I've talked to people that have been in relationships and they've been like, Hey, like I've been in a relationship for two, three years and legit after two years, I still get a memory. I still get a moment that I start to cry and I start to feel things and bro, 
that is okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to feel things. It's okay to let it go because it is what it is. Number seven. So it teaches you to recognize those who do love you. Cherish them from Solo. I love that so much because personally for myself, I saw a lot of my friends show up for me and show up and show out for me and I'm so grateful for them. You know, I'm so grateful for my friends and my family that show shows up for you. If you have good friends and you have good family, thank them, you know, in this moment. Really, really cherish them because they're beautiful in every single way. And I'm gonna read a few things that I personally have helped me. It's okay to not be okay. I know that is the epitome of my heart and my brand. Like if you need if you need to cry cry if you need to let things out let it out normalize not being okay don't let it become your everything if that makes sense you're not meant to be perfect like it, it's okay to shut down it's okay to not want to do things it's okay if you may mess up one day and you do that don't be too hard on yourself because i'm way too hard on myself the same thing time will heal all things but god will so if it takes two months if it takes five months let god heal you Present your heart to God and just lean to him and let him heal you because as soon as you surrender, oh that's a good one, as soon as you surrender to God and you present the relationship or you present things to me will help you. You'll have really good days and bad days. So some days you'll be on the highest high and other days you'll be on the lowest low, but I think definitely enjoy the high moments. But then when you're at your lows, like thank God, you know. Be in a state of gratitude and thank God that you're going through this, but you're not gonna stay there because God is so good always and he's gonna take you out of that situation and he's gonna heal you and he's gonna provide for you, etc. Let God be God in your life. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Let God be God, let God love you. Go on dates with him again, you know. Enjoy your time, you know, being a single Pringle again and enjoy this moment to just really validate you. Also, another thing is that you didn't fail. I feel like a lot of people have that mentality that if they broke up or like if they got broken up with or they broke up with someone, they, they're in that mentality of like, dang, I failed. You didn't fail. The, the relationship just didn't work out. And that was such a huge, you're, you're not a failure. You are God's daughter, you're God's son, you are loved by him and God loves you so much. So you're not a failure. It just didn't work out. But at the end of the day, God's gonna show you the reason why it didn't work out and there's gonna be a greater purpose as to why God closed that door for you. When you have a bad day, cry it out then get back up and remember who God has called you out to be. If you see photos and you see memories and there's specific events that trigger you, that's okay. <laughs> you will have those days that you're great and then days that you're not. So if you get triggered seeing a road sign, by seeing a memory, by going to fair and you guys went there on a date, cry it out, take that moment, but don't entertain it. Don't entertain the feelings. Don't entertain that thoughts. And, you know, really look to God and just be like, God, you know what? Like, I'm gonna cry this out. I'm gonna feel these emotions, but I'm not gonna let these emotions take over my life because emotions take over and it sucks. And it does, trust me, it does. God is still God and he's doing his thing. So let God do his thing with you. I'm gonna end on this because I think it's very, very beautiful. God leans towards a broken heart. The verse that has gotten me through any situation in my life has been this verse and it's in Psalms 34, 18. It says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. God leans towards that. If you're broken right now, because I feel you, lean towards God and know that God is so close to you right now and he's healing your heart and he's mending it and know that God is gonna sew up every brokenness in your heart and know that you may feel like a part of you is missing, but let God comfort you. This was a thing that I felt in my heart to share with you guys. I really wanted to just share my heart and yeah, that is my tea for today. Happy Thanksgiving. I love you guys so much and yeah, so that's all for this video and what I learned from a heartbreak. So. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media, it'll be linked down below. 
I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, God bless you.